here we have a picture. A lot of people doing something. Where do you think these people are? What could they be doing? Okay. Let's find out a little bit more. You may have changed your mind about what they're doing. Okay. Come over here. You get even better picture. So here we've got a ship. What do you think this could be in the background? Yeah. So we've got a lot of ice going on here. Okay. Okay. Let's reveal the whole picture. Okay. So there we've got the whole picture. So these people are clearly shipwrecked. Okay. As you can see a little bit more clearly in these pictures. Okay, so here we have a shipwreck. And this, here we go. And here, what are they using to get out? They're using ice picks, for example. Okay. Okay, so now I'd like you to think about what these people are doing. Okay. Who were these men? Uh, what happened to them? What do you think they were trying to do? What happened to them after these photographs were taken? How long were they away from home? If we take a look here. There we go. I'd like to discuss this question first of all between you. And this one. And this one. Okay. Moving on from that, we have some typical answers to those questions. So they might have been explorers. Uh, they might have been on holiday, but I doubt it, etc. So the pronunciation here would be might have been. Okay, here we connect them. And here it's silent. Okay, we have different ways of expressing this imagination about the past. So here, we have um, one form, another form, and here, and a third one. So here, we essentially have an adverb. What is this, essentially? Both phrase, and here, both of these are modal verbs. Okay. So here we have a little bit of practice at doing these. So for example, can't have. Would this be a verb phrase, a modal, or an adverb? likely that. Flip it over into adverbs. Okay. Okay. Um, here from the internet. Oh, let's go back. So here you can log on to the internet to do some reading to find out what actually happened to these people to find out if you were correct or not. So here we have some connections from our reading from the internet. We have some words to put together. So for example, difficult, what would be difficult? A difficult journey, difficult conditions, difficult supply, etc. So let's match those up. Hazardous journey perhaps. To hold. Darkness. In short supply. Okay, now to find out if we're correct, we have our answers right here. Find out by checking 
the whole background. Okay. So here, we have some further more questions to find out what sort of conditions these people are looking under. Was it bitter cold? What hazardous conditions do you think they had to put up with? We can see them going off to um, find rescue. Do you think these people survived? What conditions did they have to put up with while they were there? And here again, there are a few final discussion questions for you. So, what do you think these people might have done to survive? What do you think the experience changed them in? And what problems could have arisen, etc.? I'd like to discuss those questions and think about them. And then for some further exploration activities, maybe you can search the web for further things on this topic. This story that was made into a movie with Kenneth Brown. Um, we also have, you know, I'd like to talk about other survival stories or maybe prepare a presentation or a small video for the next class. Okay. Survival pictures, maybe. Thank you. 